Look at what just happened, dude. You said nowhere in the New Testament is Jesus called God. There's only one person who's called God, and that's the Father. We can replay the uh, the tape. That's correct. Then we just showed you that Jesus is called God, the God of us and the Savior of us. Well, you said, well, he's not called God Almighty. He's not called God Almighty. And then we just showed you that he's called God Almighty. He's but now you're that. saying, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna let you cook. I'm gonna let you cook. I promise. You said he's not called God Almighty. He's not yeah. called the Almighty. Then we just showed you where Jesus is called the Almighty. Yeah, God. And now you're saying, well, he's not. He's not called the Father. Deuteronomy six four. So let me walk you through Deuteronomy six four. It says, "Here, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. <laughs> one what? One God. The Lord our God is one. He's just. He's one ruler. He's one, one what? Person. One person. No, it doesn't say person. That's what one means in that context. No, it doesn't. Echad is used in Genesis. No, that's what it means. No, it doesn't. Amen. Echad is used in Genesis two twenty four for two persons becoming. Amen. So prove Man that Echad, in reference to God, means he's one person. Coming together. What are you even saying, Sam? Repeat. <laughs> what are you saying, Sam? <laughs> right. What am I saying? Hey, buddy, can we go to the? He's one person, right? Israel. There, Where does it say one person? Multiple gods. They're saying he's one. person. Where is the word one person there? Show it to me. That's what it means. No, it doesn't. I just you showed Echad. Genesis 2 24 Echad is used for two persons forming a unity so Echad doesn't in of itself mean one person prove that assertion It doesn't matter if that word is used in a different context somewhere else it doesn't now, mean what in that context, context, context God is one person Sam just because a word is used in Greek or Hebrew doesn't mean it's used in the same context okay what in the context of Deuteronomy 6 4 shows one person you made the assertion uh that all throughout the New Testament we have one God who is the father you sure huh? only the father yeah, we have one God who is the Father. That's what it says Genesis in all of the epistles. Paul tells us that. Peter tells us that. James tells us that. John tells us okay. that. All the Can apostles. To... John, hold on. This brother right here is tripping. I see why in the title of this video that they call this man a troll. I see because right there, he's going to go to John of all of them. And all the apostles knew that Jesus was God. Again, they worshiped him. Going back to Deuteronomy, right? The Shema. Our Lord, our God is one. And in Deuteronomy, in the Old Testament, excuse me, what are you not supposed to do for anybody else? Worship any other God. You're not supposed to do that. But yet Jesus was worshipped by the same people he's trying to quote and say that in their epistles that he, they didn't believe he was God. But yet they all bowed down to him. They all praised him. They all acknowledged him as God. All of, like what? I'm going to quote Dr. James White right here because he, he had a crazy, crazy quote. He said that Unitarians, because I know this is what this brother is. Unitarians only read the Bible with one eye open. And that's so true. They can see that God is one. And they can see that God is only supposed to be worshipped. But what they can't see is that when Jesus is worshipped, that, oh, man, he's God. They can't see that. They got to make some other type of excuse like, oh, no, that's not the same type of worship. That's not the same type. You're only supposed to worship God in one way. That's the type that you do when it comes to just prostrating. Or that's the same type that you do when it comes to kings. If you're not supposed to worship any God, if God is us and let our, but yet there's one God, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? If Jesus is notified and seen as God, if the Holy Spirit is seen as God, if he's the helper, that's going to be with everybody. How's he going to be with everybody? Huh? How is the Holy Spirit, who is identified as a person, going to be with everybody to reconcile everybody back to God? Sounds like only God could do something like that. But yet that's the Holy Spirit doing that. I know I'm getting off into a lot of, but Unitarians like make me itch. They make my pinky toe itch. Well, let's get back to the cook session. The verses, Titus 2.13. Open up Titus 2.13 oh, for Titus 2.13. Yeah, you guys got one scripture. Okay, that, I'm going to give you more than one. Calm down. Exegete what it means. The great God of one? us and Savior. The great go God. To, yeah, go to go to KJV. Okay, no, let's you. do one better. Go to BibleHub.com. I want him to read the Greek in part. Let's go to KJV. Mm. We're at the verse. Yeah, show him the Greek. Hey, because hey, it wasn't in English. Hey, hey. Okay, now I want you to read the Greek in part for me, okay? Line by line. Go ahead. It's right there. Cook session. Go ahead, Dylan. I'm reading it right now. Out loud so we yeah, can hear you. No, what's what's what do you think this is showing? You think this is showing that Jesus Parse is God? Read for me and explain to I'm me. Re I read the verse, Sam. Now okay, I'm okay. asking. Yes, doxes to Megalu Theu ke dokero Simon Christu Yesu. Break it down for me. Yes, mm. Sam. What is this claiming to you? It's showing so, so, you that Paul just called Jesus our great God and Savior. So, so, so Paul has two gods. Wait, wait, Dylan, before you ask any other question, what? can you at least acknowledge that the verse here refers to Jesus as the God and Savior of us? 
I acknowledge that those two titles, God and Savior, are given to Jesus. I, I believe Hold on. This brother is a troll right here. This brother is special ed. So he sees the verse. He acknowledges it. And also his first mistake was, oh, only one verse. I don't care if, if, if the father said he was God one time. That's all he needs to say. That's all he needs to say is one time. You don't, that's, the, that's a crazy thing to me is when people try to equate the amount of time things are said to the importance of or the, the, the truth factor in it. Ah, man. Jesus never, quote unquote, verbally claimed to be God. Muslim argument, by the way. But yet throughout the scripture, we understand that he's claiming divinity through the different meanings of the passages that he's quoting. When he calls himself the son of man, when he says, ego, I me, I am. I learned that from Dr. James White, by the way. So what? He has to say it a thousand times. He has to say, I am God verbatim a thousand times. What? When people are worshiping him, when his apostles are worshiping him, when his apostles are calling him God. When the father's calling him God, Hebrews 1, 8, which always is going to be brought up because that's the one that like people just love to just, oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he's called the exact representation of God. We need to throw all that away because never once was it said, oh. I am Jesus. I am God. Worship me. What? So because Paul wrote that Jesus is the Lord and God, that ah, it's one time, even though it's more than one time, but ah, it's just one time. This is the jacked up thinking that heretical views have, but yet they're so blind that they can't see this. They can't see this nonsense. Anybody with two eyes, if you put a non-biased, if you put a atheist in the room right now with them, he would be able to show him how dumb he sounds with his argumentation and also his thinking process. That is ridiculous. But let's get back into it. That's completely fine. How many right, but, 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 hold on, but hold on a second. Hold on a second. You literally said all throughout the New Testament, nowhere is Jesus called God. And you said in all the epistles that only no, the logic. Father is called God. Now yes, here. Jesus is never called the Almighty God. He's never called. Oh, wait, but now, so now you're shifting the goalposts. Well, let me now. So now, on that. No, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll, answer answer I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. I'm not Shift. shifting the goalposts. I, this is that? why we have to define yes, these yes. words. Actually, can you can you Galatians also go to Galatians, Galatians go what? Revelation one, if oh. Rob comes down, Revelation one seventy. There it's contextually Jesus saying can be the yeah, in the first and the last. He can bear no, those. No, no, that's not that's, that's not I'm down, that's dude. Not, I'm down yeah, Dylan. Not, I know you're scared. Calm down. So, just to be clear, I'm going to the verse. I'm going to the verse, but just to be clear, Dylan, you did just fold on yourself just now, man, when it came oh, to the New Testament and Jesus. Revelation 1, 7 to 8. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every mm. eye will see him, even those who pierce them. Now, see, I've been in conversations in the comments with Jehovah's Witness and Unitarians about this verse, right? So they'll say that, oh, well, because there's the comma right there after amen, it's going back to the Father stating that he's the Alpha and Omega. Cool, whatever. You want to take that? Go for it. But what does Revelation twenty two twelve say? You can't mistake that with the father. Not at all. So what now? What now? You JWs, you Unitarians, what now? They'd be like, oh, man, matter of fact, the, the almighty thing, this dude, he's like a super troll because he's like a, a JW and a Unitarian mix, even though they're the same thing, too. They're all just watered down Muslims, to be honest with you. And I think I said that before. But if I didn't say it before, I'll say it again. If I did say it before, I'll say it again. Jehovah's Witnesses and Unitarians watered down Muslims. Horrible argument. So now God is the Alpha and Omega, and he's identifying himself as Alpha and Omega right here. If you believe it's the Father, sweet. He's identifying that right there. But Jesus is also doing that in Revelation 22, 12. So now what? So now we got Jesus claiming the same thing that the Father's claiming, but yet he's not God. We got Jesus being worshipped. We got Jesus being called God by the apostles. What's going on, man? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Stop being so heretical. Just understand that what the truth is. It's literally been handed to us throughout years. It's called the Bible. It's called church history. Look into it, man. It's not really that hard, bro. And by the way, shout out to God Logic. Man, go follow him. I'm going to have his channel description in below. If you're not following him, go do that. Sam Shamoon, uh, Al B, he's on here. Crazy, crazy, crazy apologist right now. It's who's who up here. They're getting it done. Getting it done. Shout out to all of them. Even those who pierced him, behold, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was, who is to come, the Almighty. So who's coming in the context? Uh, Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. Oh, you think thank you for admitting that Jesus is God. Thank you for admitting that Do Sam. not let me finish. He said Almighty right there. That's a title. Ooh. 
Almighty is a title that hey, he hey, has. What do you, what do you want to do? You want to go to the next guy? He was given all power and authority. Oh, Almighty. Dylan! Hey. Dylan! You just said that he's... Oh, I remember this. I was actually in the comments listening to this when it was happening. Yo, I would... Just from that, because this dude right here is trash, bro. I remember now. This dude right here. Oh, my gosh. I remember. And see, I thought he was going to even uh, do what the other JWs do and say that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not that's not Jesus saying that. Whatever. But no, he literally acknowledged that's Jesus. Acknowledged. And still like, nah. So he set the standard that the none of the apostles said so debunked him he set the standard that jesus never called himself the almighty he agrees debunked himself but he's like this is the this is the thinking the nonsense that they have to go through i don't know why they just kicked this brother right then and there i don't know why i rem yep i remember because this actually went on for a lot longer than what it should have to be honest with you bless their hearts for putting up with this brother but hopefully by putting up with him and whoever watched this live stream who's ever watching this now sees the idiocracy and what this brother's talking about and the idiocracy and the theology of Unitarians, JWs, oneness ain't really being talked about right here, but oneness and any other heretical view. Y'all need to stop drinking that Kool-Aid and come to know the truth of the triune God. He's never called the almighty God. He's yeah. not. He's not the father. He's not Jehovah. See, do, so now do you see another, another shift? So look, look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm let's go step by no. step. Wait, wait, he I'm said he's not Jehovah. Jehovah. Wait, wait, wait. No, he said they're not. He said he's not the father. We already proved that he's and Jehovah. He he's not we, we here, here's what's happening. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let, me, let me break it down. I'll, I'll let you talk. I promise. I'll let you flow. I'll let you cook. Yeah. But look yeah, at what just happened, nothing. dude. You said nowhere in the New Testament is Jesus called God. There's only one person who's called God, and that's the father. We can replay the, ta uh, the tape. That's correct. Then we just showed you that Jesus is called God, the God of us and the Savior of us. Well, you said, well, he's not called God Almighty. He's not called God Almighty. And then we just showed you that he's called God Almighty. But now you're saying, wait, wait, hold on. I'm going to let you cook. I'm going to let you cook. I promise. You said he's not called God Almighty. He's not called the Almighty. Then we just showed you where Jesus is called the Almighty. And now you're saying, well, he's not He's not called the Father. Dude. Now you're saying, don't yeah, when I made these claims, you don't think I already know about Titus two thirteen or about no. Revelation? When I but you just admitted that Titus two thirteen because I'm not giving you about Jesus. Yeah, got logic. I'm not giving a clear definition at the very start of it. When I use these words, I understand that at certain points in the scriptures, very few instances throughout the New Testament, Jesus has these titles of God or of Almighty. That's oh, I'm okay. still he's okay. not Wait, so or of Almighty. Listen, I want to repeat Jesus, what you just said. If Jesus I'm not going to stop it anymore after this, but this is just so dumb. The second time I'm hearing this is aggravating my soul so much, but this is so dumb. I ain't going to stop it anymore. Y'all, I'm just going to let it ride out. Jesus isn't the father. Then he's not the God that Paul is referring to all throughout the scriptures or, or Jesus himself. So then who is he? So wait, wait. So if he's calling, go ahead, Sam, go ahead, yeah. man. No. Okay. He just said, Jesus is not Yahweh. You said that, right? Uh, he's not the father. I said, no, then you said it, not the father. He's not Yahweh. You finished it. So I said, he's not Jehovah. When I say Jehovah, I'm saying the father. That's what okay, I'm Okay. So now, so for I'm Jesus saying, to be Jehovah, he has to be the father. Here's my claim. He is not the father. That's the and who told you the father alone is Jehovah? Uh, I mean, that's just that's just, just to be clear. Last time he was here, we proved that Jesus was Jehovah. Oh, okay. So he, we that? already did this. No, you didn't prove he was Jehovah. You proved that he can bear the name of Jehovah. See, that, no, there's no winning with this no, guy. Bearing the name. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, he admits, this is crazy. Jesus called Jehovah. He's not Jehovah. Jesus called Almighty. He's not Almighty. Jesus, great. <laughs> These are just titles. All right. Okay. In other words, Avery, who, Avery, who can, I, can I offer a verse? Can I who offer did, a verse to read? Maybe we can go to Jack next. Go ahead. Uh, who did maybe, Jesus, maybe Robin help. Go ahead, Robin. Who did Jesus say our God was? Which part? Are you talking about Mark 12, 29? He's citing a passage. No, I'm not even talking about it. What are you referring about, to? No, I'm talking I'm about, about John, 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 John 20, Okay, 20. let me answer you. John 20, 17, I'm ascending my father and your father to my God and your God. But the same right. God the Father called Jesus God and Jehovah in Hebrews 1, 8 to 12. And who did the Father call God and Jehovah in Hebrews 8, 1 to 12? Uh, Jesus. Say it he again. The Father Jesus did what? Bear those names. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Just I want to hear it. The Father called Jesus. He called God Jesus. and Jehovah. 
He called them God, meaning he's a he's a ruler with authority. That's not Hebrews one eight to twelve. The father is quoting <laughs> Psalm one o two, which is about Jehovah laying the foundation of the earth and making the heavens with his hands, rolling them up. But he remains the same; it doesn't change. And there, the father takes those words about Jehovah and says it to the son, identifying the son as Jehovah who created the heavens and the earth. And shout out to the who's who that was on that panel, man. They had Albie, even though he wasn't necessarily speaking that much in that one. They had the brother Rob. They had God, Isaac, Sam, Shamoon. I didn't know who Jack was, but shout out to that brother too. Salute. They was doing their thing. And that just shows you right there how ridiculous heretical views are. Right there. Unitarians, crazy. Oneness, Muhammad, whatever. All crazy. None of it makes sense. The only thing that does make sense is the triune God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and who God revealed himself to be throughout the entirety of Scripture, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. doesn't change. doesn't change. Thank God for that, though. Man, I'm so glad I'm not in error today. I'm so glad that I know who God is. I know where my relationship lies, and I know that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is how I get to salvation. That's how I get to understand who they are. If I take them as one, then I'm discrediting each other. Don't take Jesus as God at all, and I just think the Holy Spirit is an act of force. I'm discrediting and I'm blaspheming. Not today. No, Satan ain't going to get me today. I'm going to look at these videos and I'm going to be thankful and glad that I know where the truth is. Man, this has been your boy, Scripture Plug Albert. Go follow all those guys. I'm going to have all the ones that I know of in the links down below. So check them out if you aren't already, which I'm pretty sure I have a lot of people that follow Sam Shimon and God Logic on this channel. But just in case, just in case you're new, checking us out, go ahead and subscribe to them. This has been your boy, Scripture Plug Albert. Catch y'all next time. I'm out.